Hey everyone, John Fremmel here from Pocketables.com, and I've got a couple slick wraps and my Nexus 5. Uh, this one is a, a wood style slick wrap, and this is uh, one in red. And the one I've got on my Nexus 5 right now is um, the black one. I'll have links to this uh, in the uh, review so you can uh, take a look at exactly which one I'm talking about here. I don't remember exactly what the name is. They've got some pretty unique names for them. But um, this is it. This is what it looks like on the back of my Nexus 5. The uh, interesting thing I wanted to show you in this video though is how I've got a white Nexus 5 and this slick wrap does not completely cover up the white, so you can kind of see that white border all the way around. I tried uh, putting this on my Nexus 5 uh, several different ways. I spent a good amount of time lining up the Nexus logo here on the back. I did not get it quite perfect. If you look really closely, you can um, kind of make out how it's not quite right. I'll put a, a better picture on uh, in the review article as well, so you can see that a little bit better than in this video. Um, but that's something to consider if if you're wanting this for a white Nexus 5, it's not going to cover the back completely. It would look much better, obviously, if I had this on the back of a black Nexus 5. Um, but anyway, at the same time, I still like it. It's got a very unique style here on the back that really makes my uh, Nexus 5 stand out from the rest. Um, slick wraps do come with wraps for the sides, cut out for your volume button here, um, cut out for the power button here. They've got stuff for the top and bottom with cutouts for the microphone and the um, audio jack right there, and for the bottom with cutouts for the speaker as well. And then they've got some for the front as well with cutouts in all the appropriate places. Uh, I'm not using those on my Nexus 5. Uh, this is what some of that looks like here. Um, but you can literally cover your entire phone with this if you want to. I chose only to cover the back and notice that does include the camera ring right here. I, I do appreciate that because I am concerned with the camera sticking out a little bit on this phone about that getting damaged over time. So I, I do appreciate that. Um, but I noticed when I when I had my Nexus 5 completely covered in this, I no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get some of these things exactly right. They were sticking off the sides a little bit. They were uh, peeling off. And I figured that this is probably the best that I need at this point. Um, I, I, I don't really need all that stuff on the sides and on the front. I have a full screen protector on the front already. This does come with a screen protector as well. Um, so that's something to consider. Don't know too much about the quality of that since, again, I'm not using it. I've already got a screen protector covering the entire front of my phone. Um, but you'll see that the screen protector here kind of fits in, in there. Um, so the screen protector doesn't really need to cut out for like the front facing camera, for example, since that part's already covered by the slick wrap itself. Um, but anyway, I, I just, I didn't like the feel and the look of my phone when it was completely covered. I like it better with just the back cover like this, but, um, your mileage may vary depending on your specific device that you're covering with a slick wrap and depending on your own personal preferences, of course. Um, I like this because it allows me to protect the back of my phone, uh, without uh, the th added thickness and inconvenience that a case adds to the phone. I've tried three or four different cases for my Nexus 5. Some of them are okay. No, I'm not crazy about any of them. This, to me, since I do tend to baby my phone, since I'm uh, um, not really hard on my phone, <laughs> this, this does it for me. Of course, my size aren't protected at all, so if I drop it, there is a risk of uh, damaging the sides of my phone. Hopefully that won't happen though. Um, the reason why I'm so concerned about the back though is because I already have a scratch right here by the end. There's a scratch on the back of my white Nexus phone. I got it within days of owning the phone. I don't know how I got it since I was so careful with my phone, but apparently the white back is very easy to scratch. I've heard the black back and um, I, I'm not sure about the red one, but the black back is a lot more durable than the white black. But anyway, this at least protects the white back of my Nexus 5. Uh, Slick Wrap says you can take this off and put it back on as many times as you want. I um, have not tried that. This has been on for a couple weeks now, and it has not started to peel off, even along the sides here where um, I could not get it to fit exactly right. That There's kind of like a bubble or where, a part where it raises up. Even that part has not started peeling. So once this is on here, it's on for good. Um, 
but like like I said, Slick Wrap says you can take it off, change them out as uh, often as you want without too much loss of stickiness there. Anyway, um, Slick Wraps, I'll link to them in the um, in the review on Pocketables.com. Maybe not for everybody, but I'm digging the one I've got. I kind of like it, even with a few of the quirks that I mentioned here. Um, <laughs> so... For my full review, check it out on Pocketables.com. I'm John Fremmel. Thanks for watching. See you later.